Yes, thank you. Arizona is being asked to remove the over 120 shipping containers it placed to fill Yuma's wall gaps in August. The federal government says the state trespassed and violated federal law by building on land owned by the Bureau of Reclamation. Adam Klepp updates us on where Yuma border wall construction efforts stand. The Fed sending a letter to the state of Arizona saying Customs and Border Protection is ready to start construction on two gaps in the Yuma border wall. But they say they can't start the projects with these containers in the way. The border boxes now deemed illegal by the federal government. A letter sent to Arizona by the U.S. Department of the Interior alleges the containers are a trespass against the United States, harming federal lands and impeding Reclamation's ability to perform its mission. Before the containers, migrants crossed here by the thousands every month, the majority giving themselves up to Border Patrol and asking for asylum, a right provided to them under U.S. immigration law, even if they cross into the country illegally. But others ran through them, trying to evade detection and jumping into waiting cars on Somerton Avenue. The Yuma County Sheriff's Office says the containers have helped manage migrant flows near the dam. So our deputies have noticed traffic slowing down. Our small county. county Supervisor Jonathan Lines has supported both the federal and state efforts to close the gaps, but says this letter sends the wrong message. And what about the trespassing into the farmer's fields? Adding the containers are helping Border Patrol and keeping the community safe. The number of known gotaways is down. They used to average about 3,000 a month and they were at 1,000, so there was a significant reduction. The letter states CBP has awarded contracts to complete two of Yuma's wall gaps with traditional steel barriers. When reached for comment on the request to remove the shipping containers, a spokesperson for Arizona Governor Doug Ducey said, we are reviewing the letter. I've been trying to reach the representative for the Bureau of Reclamation listed in the letter since Saturday to further explain how these containers are harming federal land and impeding the reclamation's mission. I have yet to hear back. Reporting in Yuma, Adam Klatt, News 11.